Among them, Mohammed M. Wazi, otherwise known as Jihadi John, the fighter who beheaded British and American captives in ISIL's macabre propaganda videos. The Telegraph has obtained rare, covert footage of the fighters in private conversation, the first proof that the men knew each other and were working together as a unit. This video, taken in late 2014, can only now be shown after the person who filmed it was able to flee the former ISIL stronghold of Raqqa. He is going to go somewhere. He's not staying here. The man on the left is Junaid Hussein from Birmingham, ISIL's number one hacker and husband of the UK's most wanted woman, Sally Jones. He was killed in a US drone strike in August 2015. Next to him is Emwazi from London, who beheaded two Britons and three Americans in videos threatening the West. He was killed in an American airstrike in November 2015. Sat next to him on the sofa is Riyad Khan from Cardiff, who also appeared in ISIL propaganda videos. We now know he was regarded as the group's religious authority and highly regarded for his knowledge of Sharia. He became the first Briton to ever be killed in a targeted RAF drone strike in August 2015. Lastly, Raymond Matimba from Manchester. Our contact tells us he was an Islamic State sniper and trainer. He is the only man who may still be at large. So it's clear these guys are all friends with one another, they like each other, they're hanging out in the way that anybody else would. It's just that the joint enterprise in which they're engaged is ultimately one of a project that wants to be totalitarianist, it's uh, fascist, and has inflicted great suffering on lots of people. It was from this internet cafe, at the heart of the so-called caliphate, where they and other foreign fighters plotted attacks on the UK and the West. Okay. It could be a scene from any front room or coffee shop, 